India's Chandrayaan-3 moon mission has achieved another major milestone. The spacecraft's lander module has now detached from the propulsion module. What are the objectives of the lander module at this stage? What are the requirements for a safe landing? And what happens next? Our next report breaking it down for you. Two, one, zero. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission has reached a crucial point. In the latest, the lander module known as Vikram, which was carrying the rover known as Pragyan, has now detached from the propulsion system, which was originally pushing the lander forward. What's next? The lander's principal mission is to land the rover module on the moon. A successful landing will make India the fourth nation to achieve the feat. India will join the ranks of the United States, Russia and China. So what is the lander module Vikram carrying? Vikram has three specific payloads, Ramba, LP, Chaste and Ilsa. The mission's next stage involves the activation of these instruments. But NASA has also provided another instrument for Luna study. It's called the Laser Retro Reflector Array and the instrument is meant for lunar laser ranging studies. Vikram will also maintain communication with the rover and the Indian Deep Sea Network. Now let's tell you what each payload will do. First, the radio anatomy of the moon-bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere, also known as Ramba LP. It is meant to measure the near-surface plasma density and its changes over time. Next is the Chandra Surface Thermophysical Experiment, also called CHAST. The instrument will study and measure the thermal properties of the moon's surface near its poles. And then there is the instrument for lunar seismic activity, also known as ILSA. This will measure the seismicity of the landing site and delineate the structure of the lunar crust and mantle. So what will the propulsion module do now? After carrying out its principal task of pushing the lander closer to the moon, the propulsion module will now search for extraterrestrial life. It will aim for exoplanets beyond our solar system. ISRO says that it will continue its journey in the current orbit for months or years. The module carries its own payload called the spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth, also known as SHAPE. The instrument will conduct a spectroscopic study of the Earth's atmosphere and make measurements of variations in polarization from the Earth's cloud. The data will help scientists study exoplanets that support life and find a better way to understand the Earth's atmosphere. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is on track to create history and Indians are waiting with bated breath to witness the landing. Bureau Report we on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.